Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I'm out here doing a little product testing today. I've got this backstop from Bup Sports and I'll put a link to their website um, on this video. But this target is probably, this backstop is probably about an inch thick, maybe a little bit bigger than that, maybe an inch and a half thick, very lightweight, foldable, just like a cushion. It's made out of all recycled material and it's been tested to stop arrows at 365 feet per second, I believe the label says, from compound bows. It's made for field points only for practicing archery. They make these in multiple sizes. This is like the personal home size model. It's got several dots to aim at on here. I'm going to get the fastest bow that I own out, the fastest longbow I have, which is my two tracks reflex deflex uh, longbow, and shoot some Pathfinder three-piece arrows into this bad boy and see how it does at stopping arrows. If I don't stop them, I reckon they're going to be in the back 40. <laughs> okay guys, this is the very first Pathfinder bow. Got the Pathfinder logo on it right there from Two Tracks Bow Company. It's got Pathfinder number one written on it right there. It's numbered number one. This one actually belongs to Miss Iris. It is 37 pounds of 24 inches, which is going to equate to somewhere around 45 pounds at full draw or 28 inches which is my draw link. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this bow at this target and see how it does. Stay with me. Okay, one of those arrows bounced back. Two of them are stuck in there. Very easy just to pull them out. Now, I have to assume that they're hitting this wood back here because I do see holes in the target. So I think to test this thing to make sure we're not going to get penetration all the way through, I either need to keep shooting until I hit an actual hole in my lattice work, or I'm going to have to hang this thing somewhere where it's actually shooting into the air and there's nothing behind it. All right, so we're just going to hang that thing in midair. And uh, if they go through it, they'll be gone. I'm shooting those things from about five yards, guys. I want maximum speed out of these arrows to see how far they're going to penetrate. And stop that thing with about six, seven inches through the target there. Okay guys, well here's the BUP target, which stands for Bauer Useful Products Incorporated, B-U-P. I don't know what the exact price is of this personal size target, so I can't tell you. He sent me a couple different products that he makes for testing through a friend of mine, Scott Anderson at Backland Outdoors. Um, pretty good, 
that stopping arrow is beyond a shadow of a doubt. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It definitely will stop your arrows. It's a great backstop for inside of a shop, in your garage, whatever the case may be, down your porch, <laughs> as I'm doing right here today. But he also makes a couple other products, and all of them are made out of recycled materials. I'll be reviewing one of them on the On the Water's Edge series probably tomorrow or the next day. But I wanted to show you guys this backstop target from Bup Incorporated and see what you thought of it and just test it in front of you. First time I'd ever shot it was when I shot it on this camera. I'm Dave Camber at the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining me for this video. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, my friends, affiliates, and sponsors. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.